Hello friends, this is Samarth and today we are going to learn about anastomosis around scapula. So, I have already made a video on anastomosis around the elbow joint and I have explained something about what the term anastomosis means. But today we are going to talk only about anastomosis over scapula. You could refer to my previous video if you want to. So let's get started. So, anastomosis around scapula is divided into two parts, that is anastomosis over the fossa over the or the body of the scapula and anastomosis over the acromion process of the scapula so we already know there are three fossae or fossas on the scapula that is the supraspinous fossa the infraspinous fossa and one on the costal side or the anterior side that is the subscapular fossa so so here i have drawn the body of scapula from the posterior side this is the acromion process and these are the different fossae that is the supraspinous fossa infraspinous fossa and on the costal side there is the subscapular fossa so our anastomosis over scapula is divided in this region and the body and the subscapular fossa respectively. Okay guys, as we have discussed, the anastomosis over scapula is divided into two regions. That is over the fossa and over the acromion process. So, let's start with the anastomosis over the fossa. As we all are aware that the heart gives off the left and the right subclavian arteries. This is. And the subclavian artery continues to form the axillary artery, which further is divided into first, second and third parts respectively. And we are also familiar with the uh, branches given off by the first, second and third parts. So let's start with the anastomosis over the body. As you can see here, the first part of the subclavian artery gives a large branch that is known as the thyrocervical trunk known as the thyrocervical trunk from the first part of the subclavian artery. The thyrocervical thyro trunk further gives branches 1, 2, 3, 4 and out of which only the suprascapular artery and the transverse cervical artery anastomose over the body. Once again, the subclavian artery gives a large branch that is known as the thyrocervical trunk which further gives four branches 1, 2, 3 and 4 out of which only two anostomize that is the suprascapular artery and the transverse cervical artery. Now coming back to the axillary artery the third part which gives an important artery or the largest branch of the axillary artery that is the subscapular artery. Circumflex scapular artery is given off by the subscapular artery and also the thoracodorsal artery. Though the thoracodorsal artery do not anastomize over the scapula. So the anastomosis over the body is complete. That is it is formed by the suprascapular artery, transverse cervical artery of course its deep branch and the circumflex scapular artery. As we all know, circumflex scapular artery is that artery which is found between the two slips of the teres minor muscle. So, let's talk about the anastomosis over the acromion process of the scapula. To remember this, we have to remember that there are three arteries over the body and three arteries over the acromion process. And all the three arteries over the acromion process are the acromion branches or three different arteries. So let's start. This is the acromion branch of the suprascapular artery. This is coming from the thoracoacromial artery and this is the acromial branch of the posterior circumflex humoral artery. As we know, the third part of the axillary artery gives off the posterior circumflex humoral artery which further gives its acromial branch to the acromion process. Thoracoacromial artery comes off from uh, it's a large branch of the second part of the axillary artery which gives off four branches that is the deltoid, pectoral, clavicular and the acromial branch and third is the suprascapular artery's acromial branch. 
So let's quickly take a revision of the anastomosis over the body and the acromion process. So there are three arteries anastomizing over the body of the scapula. That is suprascapular artery coming from the thyrocervical trunk, transverse cervical artery, its deep branch coming from the thyrocervical trunk, this one and this one. Third one is the circumflex scapular artery coming from the scapular, subscapular artery and further from the third part of the axillary artery. Now coming back to the acromial process, there are three arteries and three acromial branches. Acromial branch of suprascapular artery, acromial branch of the thoracoacromial artery and the acromial branch of the posterior circumflex humeral artery. So that is it for the anastomosis around the scapula and coming to the end i would like to thank you guys and if you find this video informative please do support me by liking subscribing and please do share thank you love for anatomy